good afternoon. I am Brother Paul Demera, a Canadian Jesuit, uh, born in Canada and uh, started my Jesuit training in Guelph, Ontario. I joined the Jesuits in 1963 and uh, as a postulant and as a novice in 1964. So last year I celebrated my 50 years as a Jesuit. I came to Zambia in 19, uh, first of all in 1969 and I was part of it through my studies and then I came here uh, full time in 1971. I had already done my studies in, uh, in agriculture when I came here and I was raised on a farm in Canada. So all these uh, experiences that I had on my dad's farm were all to my advantage when I came to work in Zambia. When I first came, the provincial at that time, Father John Cunahan, asked me to do something with the farmers around Cassisi Mission. So I initially started by visiting the farmers in the villages and eventually the agricultural training center took shape. And we, in the initial years we had a two-year training program for families so the, the families would learn about uh, rain-fed crops, uh, vegetables uh, under irrigation and then they would have uh, broilers and also uh, cattle. So by the time they left at the end of the two year, they would have invested from their savings uh, into maybe a water pump, uh, maybe one or two oxen and ox implements such as a plow and a zigzag harrow. So they had the basics to go back to the village and to uh, do the, uh, the farming there. <clears throat> so both the husband and wife and the children were, were all learning at the same time. Then in, in, um, in the late 1980s, we started looking at uh, organic agriculture as opposed to the conventional agriculture that we had been promoting. And um, so from 1990 to, the, to date, we've been promoting organic agriculture. And organic agriculture is a system of farming that would be more naturally based uh, as opposed to um, use of uh, chemicals and fertilizers. So uh, and that's, this has been very um, uh, productive and, and certainly for the small scale farmers they, they are uh, producing much more by using organic methods as opposed to uh, following the, or using uh, fertilizers and chemicals. Uh, certainly much easier, um, better economically for them as well. The, uh, then in the mid-1990s we started offering uh, five-day courses and so uh, farmers, uh, both men and women, would come here for five days. They would come on Sunday afternoon and then leave uh, after lunch on Friday and, and the topics would be very, very specific. So they might learn about organic vegetable production or agroforestry, or beekeeping, uh, dairying. Uh, so we offer, in fact, uh, 17 different courses like that for these five-day courses. And uh, then in the early nine, uh, 20, uh, 2000s, we uh, dropped the two-year uh, residential family training and then are now concentrating only on the um, five-day programs. And we've trained a lot of people in Changu District, just around Cassis and Mission. But um, we also trained, trained people, uh, farmers and uh, uh, field staff of NGOs and, and government uh, agri agricultural extension officers from across Zambia. And in the last three years, we've done a lot of training as well for farmers in Malawi and also Burundi. So these are the mainly lead farmers they would come here and then they would, they would return to their um, countries and then train maybe another 10 farmers. So we, we were able to train a lot more people in, with these five-day courses than we did with the uh, family two-year residential training. Uh, we, can tr we train, in the last years, we've trained between 1,000 to 1,500 um, farmers annually and the, the trainings would be held mainly between uh, March up to October during the dry season because during the rainy season the farmers would be at their uh, at their farm so they would be uh, very busy and um, what we found is that uh, by going organically the farmers are able to produce maybe three to five times as much as they would produce 
as they were producing before and certainly uh, more than if they were using the, the fertilizer. And I think the big, the big trick is that there's more organic matter in the soil because the soils here are very low in organic matter. We've also found that during the um, dry uh, droughts and uh, periods and the, the rainy season that um, the, the maize, for example, that's grown under organic methods uh, are still um, thriving. The plants are green and growing, whereas uh, just their uh, neighboring field that would be grown using fertilizer, the, the crop would be wilting. Uh, and on average, uh, the farmers are, are getting between three to five tons per hectare of maize. The, and the national average of maize production is about 1.2 tons per hectare. Uh, so the farmers are able to produce a lot more. We've in fact produced here at Cassisi uh, Agricultural Training Center uh, up to 10 tons per hectare uh, of maize using what we call an OPV, an open pollinated variety, which is not a hybrid. It's a variety that farmers can replant, keep their own seed and replant year after year and using organic methods. So as opposed to the message of that you have to that you need to use a hybrid seed and that you also need to um, use fertilizers and, and chemicals we've shown that it's uh, it's quite possible to do as well if not better using uh, natural methods so the organic agriculture is what uh, another uh, maybe way of explaining it is that it's a low external input sustainable agriculture uh, it, it's so that uh, you don't have, the farmer doesn't need a lot of cash uh, to, to get started, a lot of capital. Uh, a lot of times at, in, in town at the, at the red, you know, at the street lights, uh, you know, these young boys come up and they're asking for work and all that. But I said, go back to the village and they say, well, we can't go back and start farming because we don't have the capital, we don't have enough money. But with the, uh, this way of farming organically, you don't need very much capital. You can start with very, very little. And in fact, you try to uh, farm using the natural resources you have on your own farm. So you, you don't waste um, material that is, um, uh, that, that would be, you might otherwise uh, think that it's, it's useless. You, you, you compost the whole thing. So what are the tricks in organic agriculture? The, the, um, the tricks would be uh, uh, rotate crop rotations uh, using uh, legumes which adds nitrogen to the soil um, the, the, uh, composting would be a, a very important um, and, and then um, mulching as well so that uh, if you're irrigating your vegetables and if you have a lot of mulch then you don't need to uh, irrigate so often the moisture is kept there and also the, the termites and the earthworms will then um, take this uh, dry material and uh, incorporate it into the soil and really it improves the soil uh, greatly.